All right, imagine hearing your baby's heartbeat two and a half years after he suddenly died. Well, that happened to a California mother, and Ben Tracy shows us how she turned her personal tragedy into new hope for a little girl she never met until now. I... These two mothers had never met until this weekend, but their lives had formed an unbreakable bond two and a half years earlier. Heather Clark lost her seven-month-old son, Lucas, in June of 2013. Lucas was very energetic, very smiley. Losing a child, you lose, you lose yourself. I was like, I don't ever want any mother to go through what I'm about to go through. And that's when I decided to sign the paperwork and save somebody else's child. She decided to donate his organs, including his heart. It went to Esther Gonzalez's daughter, Jordan, now four years old. Hi, our present. You got me a present? No way. I got you a present, another one. Jordan's mother knows that first gift was the gift of her daughter's life. By the time she was 18 months old, she had undergone six surgeries because of a congenital heart defect. A transplant was her only hope. One of my favorites. She would be so selfless to be able to think of another family while she's going through her grief. Living in different states, the two mothers had been in touch only through the mail, social media, and phone calls in the years since the transplant. It wasn't until they finally decided to meet in person that Heather Clark was able to do this. Listen to her baby's heart beating inside Jordan's chest. That's your baby. It's so strong. It is. It was magical it was crazy it was sad there's absolutely no word no explanation for it besides just magic and wonderful she says the joy of seeing jordan healthy is helping her deal with the pain of losing her son knowing that she's so smart and so respectful and you know it just makes it so much easier because she's just exactly what i could picture lucas being right now for cbs this morning ben tracy los angeles so beautiful that's gift. truly a gift that you can't that is irreplaceable but for her to say it's magical and sad really does sum up what that experience was like yeah for her to hear it story yeah